Hi, I'm Rob Ward. I'm a neurologist at Berrien Regional Associates in Neurology. I've been here since 1991 and I'm affiliated with Lakeland Healthcare Systems. My office in uh, St. Joseph is located at the health park uh, that Lakeland has on Hollywood Road. I went to medical school down in Texas and Fort Worth. I went to my residency back in my hometown area of Mount Clements, Michigan. After doing my internship in Mount Clements, I went down to Wayne State and uh, finished my neurology residency and a fellowship in neuromuscular disease. And I think that as osteopathic neurologists, our ability to put our hands on someone's back and tell them if they have a mechanical problem uh, as opposed to just a back pain is a huge asset to the practice. We see an awful lot of different types of patients. Uh, the practice is limited to adult neurology, so we try and keep a fairly hard floor at about 18 years of age. We see everything from pain conditions such as headache, neck pain, back pain. Uh, we look at epilepsy patients, uh, movement disorder patients, Parkinson's patients, multiple sclerosis at Lakeland. We're one of between 15 and 20 primary stroke centers in the state of Michigan at this point. In a small community like this, it's a little unusual maybe to have that designation when you think of some of the bigger hospital campuses around the state. Uh, again, this really keeps us in a position to be able to offer the most effective and timely stroke care to our patients. And we really want people to start to recognize that any abrupt change in their neurologic status may represent stroke. Uh, the, any sudden change in vision, uh, hearing, uh, communication skills, uh, sudden numbness or weakness or coordination problems or severe headaches that are out of character. We want people to call 911 when they're having stroke symptoms because as soon as the ambulance arrives they will notify the emergency room that they're coming in with a potential patient who might qualify for TPA which is the clot busting drug that helps with stroke. There's only a number of minutes available for patients to be able to get the drug and some people will actually exceed the time limit. Those are probably the most critical factors in making sure that you come in by ambulance as opposed to coming in through a family car. Well, really the number one thing patients can do is to quit smoking. Uh, the number one thing that their doctors can do is control their blood pressure. And we have such a large number of people who are overweight in our community. Weight loss is a frequent conversation. And instead of just saying lose weight, I try and give them strategies to lose weight and talk to them about various things, including applications on their phones that might not cost them money to be able to work with, as well as specific ideas about what dietary strategies might help them for their body type and medical conditions. With the advent of electronic medical record, it's even easier to communicate. I tell patients regularly that if they enroll in the my chart function, then I will see their question in their own words, as opposed to an interpretation from someone on my staff. The ability for me to answer an email in a matter of minutes as opposed to hoping that I catch up with someone on the phone uh, is obviously another time-saving device that creates a great deal of satisfaction. Well, I think really one of the things that defines good neurology care in particular is listening. I think that's really a lost skill and I try and place that value on my students and residents when they come through. Patients comment that they appreciate you listening to someone in terms of hearing out their entire problem rather than interrupting them is really another thing that over the years I've learned to appreciate.